Is that it? It is. Oh my god, I've been looking at this forever. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. Uh, I have been really busy after, this, after the last episode. I've been going around doing a whole bunch of mining. Uh, as you can tell by the filters, so they're, they're almost empty, so we got to get the pipe bender up and going today so we can make some filters. Uh, I have been looking everywhere for silver, like everywhere. Uh, we don't need a whole lot of it, we do need to make some electrum. So I'd like to get at least a stack, and that might be it. In fact, what I might do, because I do have a little bit of, little bit of filter left, I do have to eat pretty quick here. Uh, I just want to try to grab a little bit more. I was looking at the recipes of, uh, looking at recipes of what I actually need for it, or need it for. And there isn't really a whole lot. Uh, silver is needed for a few things, but... Uh, uh, as far as everything else goes, it was just a little bit of electrum for some stuff, but other than that, uh, if we can get a stack, which I have, that'll be enough. Alright, uh, where is base? Oh, God. And the funny thing is, I was actually out mining, uh, uh, one of my mining excursions. I did happen to run across silver before I needed it. And silly me, I didn't think, well, maybe I should grab it just in case. And I didn't, and I, on the way back, I sort of guessed where the lander was and compared to the base and I headed off in that direction which was somewhere that way but uh, I didn't find it and I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find anything at all uh, so yeah uh, I have been collecting a bunch of stuff that what you see on me is just the last little bits of what I was grabbing grab some ice for the, the furnace uh, I got some cobalt because we do got to get astroloid going eventually I do want to get some research going too uh, but it's gonna take me take a minute, so I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, I am back. Now, uh, I'll show you what I got so far. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of iron and a whole bunch of coal, so we can make a whole bunch of steel. That's not all gonna be steel, but it is gonna be some. Uh, looking for silver, I can tell you there is a lot of coal out there. And I mean, a lot. Uh, I did get some smelter, I do have some gold, uh, a stack of everything here. I got some stuff in the machines, as you can see here. Uh, Two stacks of iron, a little over a stack of gold, copper in there, and I got some copper in there as well. So getting some more going through. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to get some steel going because I want to uh, get a battery for one. Uh, see how much copper I have. I don't have a whole lot made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah take a stack of copper. We're going to run it through here. I should have enough battery power for this because that is actually full. I do have to charge my battery, but that is fine. All right, so now, now the fun part. So we go here, we're gonna take two volatile, split one, put it down. We do have to hit the ignition, the activate button, because that actually melts the ice because there's no actual temperature in there. Then we'll do uh, another one. Make sure I'm not doing half. Activate that, temperature goes up, and one oxide. And one. Uh, I've been thinking about it too. I want to get this up into. Oh. Uh, change. Uh, yeah, I'll go without the light for now. Uh, but yeah, I want to try to get to getting this up into a proper mixture, and I sort of have an idea of how to do it this time. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and we'll get. Uh, yeah, put a stack of coal in there. I'm just making sure I'm putting 50 in, not 15 or something. Okay. I'll grab another stack of iron. And go like that. Uh, as far as my storage system, storage setup goes, it's going to be a little different than what I had before. And it has gotten cold. Uh, somewhat cold. Gotta bring the temperature up. I gotta figure out how to do that. But let's put the coal in here and see what happens. It's supposed to be 3 to 1, I'm pretty sure. What do you know? Nailed on the first try. It's almost like I've done it before. Okay, steel. Steel goes into the auto lathe that is doing its thing. Um, let me see what I gotta do here. I'll be right back. Okay, I remember what I was gonna do. I was gonna go ahead and get, make the battery. Uh, unfortunately, I have to make it in that machine. And so I'm just gonna ex eject that or expel it, I was gonna say, but kinda messed up my words there. Alright, so I can go ahead and make, make a battery. 
And I do need to make a transformer. That's actually what I need the uh, Electrum for was... Uh, um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, stop that. Uh, large transformer, I do believe. Uh, do I have that research? It would have been in here, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Yes, and it needs Electrum. So I gotta make the Electrum. Uh, the Electrum can be done in here, and I think it was a cold temperature. Let's actually see if we can do it. 600. Uh, don't think so. Let me check the wiki quickly. Okay, so the temperature's gotta be a little bit higher. It's gotta be over 700 Kelvin. The pressure can be up to 10 mili... Um, 10,000 kilopascals. It's easier for me to say exactly what I'm trying to say. Uh, so what I might do is, on the lander, I think I do have a small transformer here I can use. Uh, it's fine, the transformer will just limit to 5,000. If I don't have enough power for it, then uh, machines don't turn on. Simple. Don't have to worry about frying wires or anything like that. And I believe I did have one in here. Let's see here. I thought I had a small transformer. I guess I don't. I do have a research, so I should be able to make it. I think it's, I think that one's just like a little bit of copper, gold, and iron. Well, let us find out. Okay, I go into the recipes. Okay, yes. Make one of those. I do have a whole bunch of wire made. I don't have my tool belt equipped at the moment. Take that. Uh, those over there for now. Okay, uh, let's see here. I gotta make a couple of circuits too. Because uh, I want to, might as well get this up and automated, so... Uh, let me print up some chips, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and there's actually one thing I remember I, I gotta do is I gotta get the... Uh, uh, hydraulic pipe printer. Yes, because I need air filters. Uh, I also need iron. Now let's see, where is that? Iron? Iron? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in here. What else do I need for the, the hydraulic pipe bender? Uh, I've only used this thing once and that was in the other world and that was just to uh, test it out. I think I need to actually make something with it. Copper and gold. Well, but you know, I have copper there. And I have... Gold there. Okay, now we just go ahead and print, print one of those up. That's going to take a little bit. And uh, maybe we'll go ahead and start placing that battery down somewhere. I have no idea where I'm going to put it because I haven't really thought about a layout of this because we're not going to be using the fabricator anymore. We're going to be using these two and then now it's going to make the tool mach tool manufacturing. So then I'll have these four machines doing all the work for me. Uh, yes, it is nice to actually have the fabricator. Uh, but in this case, that's fine because, you know, we can always uh, use these because they're actually faster. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. I'll be back. Okay, it is almost done. I made a few heavy cables too because uh, if we're going to be supplying the battery but with power, I want to make sure it doesn't fry. Uh, that's just on the one side. So we now have the hydraulic pipe bender. I do got to place, place this down somewhere just for the time being. And I think this might actually be the worst possible place I could put it. So it's perfect. Okay, what do I need? I need the torch and iron sheets. I've got iron sheets here. On the floor, not in my hand. And welder. Uh, welding torch. Turn that on. And I need cable coil. Oh, what do you know? And then plastic sheets, which I put away. And again, it doesn't seem right to be using a welding torch to uh, install plastic sheets. And there we go. So now I just need wire. I do have wire. Not there. I'm going to use that, I guess. Uh, we'll use that. And wire cutters. I forgot I can use C. Okay, now I need to get that iron. Um, hmm. I guess I'll pull it out of this machine. Okay, turn that off. And let's see here. Iron is... 
still in the machine? Yes. There's the iron. The irony, I tell you. Yes, that is an old, overused joke. And it helps if I actually had room to pick it up. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Now, I believe these ones are just iron. There are other ones I can make. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I only have these ones researched, so we just go ahead and make three of these. Five iron each. It's good because it'll save my life. So I want to make these, and I will be right back. And done, and I love how you can stack things in this game. Now, I am going to keep them, keep them because I know you can, uh, as far as I know, you can throw them back in the furnace and smelt them back down for the iron, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just these ones because they're only iron up, I think, if I go onto the medium or the heavy filters that I need to use... I can smelt it in there, but I get get the rage in, and I gotta use the rage in processor to split up the different ores to recycle, more or less. So that is done. Now, I've been thinking... Actually, that'd be a good time to actually get this thing up and going now. So we need to make Electrum. Now, let's see what I have on me here. Let's open that up. I have the silver. Okay. Uh, let's put... Let's put that iron there for now. And I need gold. Okay, so I need to get this temperature up. I believe... Oxide might do it. Open. Yeah, I'm really not 100% sure how this works. Uh, but I do know that when you go to prime it the first time, that the amount of pressure you put in there determines the actual startup temperature. So I think I might have to do this. This is winging it with BC. Eventually something will work. And... Uh, no, it's not the pressure because the pressure can be up to 10,000, like I said. Or in this case, 10... There we go. And we are good. Perfect. Alright, so we go ahead and put the gold in there. So let's gold, gold ingot. As you can see, the temperature the temperature drops, and so does the pressure, but the pressure that can go up too. Now, fortunately, Electrum has a, a fairly wide range. It's supposed to be. Let me check on this. Oh, that was my bad. That's actually supposed to be uh, 2,400 kilopascals and uh, 10,000 on the temperature. So what I need to do is I need to get a vent on here. So I should should have a passive vent in here somewhere. Uh, it's a power controller. Uh, let's see, going for the yellow bin, which of course is going to be the very last one I get to. Uh, active vent. I uh, don't need an active vent. It needs to be powered. Uh, hmm. Oh, we're gonna need a valve. We're gonna need some pipe. I'm gonna need some inventory space, like always. Of course. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Um, hmm. What room do I have in there? Oh, I can put the cables in there. Perfect. In fact, we'll do that. And I can grab those. And those, because I'm gonna need those too. And I gotta make a passive vent, so. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the same thing as I did before, just put a passive vent on there, and, uh, just vent it so I can release pressure. Okay, I think that should be it. Uh, yeah, it's coming off the side of the power controller, so, uh, actually what I'll do is get some coal going, since I have so much muscle burning. I'll grab those later. Don't need them this, this second. Okay, that is generating power, good. So, if I open this up, that should actually vent outwards, if I did this right. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Inwards. There we go. That's working. Okay, let's open it up. And I just gotta get, get it below 2400. So I might have to pressurize it again. Everything's melted, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's see what we can get here. So right temperature just, or right pressure just, not the right temperature. 
Okay, I uh, probably have to get a switch on that active vent just in case. All right, let's try uh, oxide. See what that does. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, some water. Pressure's a little higher now. Okay, bring that down. And that should be it. Electrum. I know what I'm doing when I want to, that is. All right, so I have the Electrum, that's uh, what I needed. Uh, what was I actually, <laughs> what did I need that for? I needed for some research, I needed for large transformers. So that is good. So that we got that set up, now let's get, uh, get some solar panels going. Uh, what do I need for solar panels? Uh, I think I'm just gonna get four solar panels for now. And just in time for the sun to come up. So I want to get a few things ready and even a large transformer and then we'll get some logics going. Okay, I am back. I made some extra heavy cables too and I'm just putting a few uh, few frames out here so we can put the solar panels actually on something. I went ahead and made three because, you know, three is all we really need for now. Uh, they do generate about 500 kilowatts a piece, I think. Uh, I do have to dismantle the other one too because I want to rotate them. I want to... Sure, we'll have the power on this side here, and like so, I know I can have a little bit closer, but I like to have the uni uniformity of it being on the panel. The ba 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 individual blocks, yeah. Anyway, uh, what do I need to take this thing apart? Uh, I think crowbar first, take the glass out. Oh my god, it's like I know what I'm doing. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place this one over here. That way, I don't have to juggle inventory. Um, I will, however, I think I need a... No. What is this? Uh, handrail situation? It is. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and just like so. Go ahead and wire it up. I do have to take these out. I'm going to place the battery. I think for now I'll play, put the battery right here. Oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta get that large transformer being made. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go in here and large transformer. Oh, that's actually not gonna take very long. I'm not gonna walk away. Last thing I need to do is waste all my electrum on 50 transformers I don't really need. Yeah, anyways. Alright, so while we're here, let's go ahead and place the battery down, should be gonna go to here, and uh, sure, whatever, I gotta place a transformer here too, actually let's go grab that, I'm gonna have it set up like I did before, where I got the battery going into a large transformer, and uh, large transformer going into a line onto a small transformer, uh, Yeah, sorry, I had to actually think about what I was doing for a second there. Now, do I have these in the right spot? I do. Okay, perfect. Uh, yes, I do have to get some glass and do that in a second. So let me wire these up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm just about done here. I'm just getting the small transformer in now. Uh, I think I have just enough cables to make this work. All right, we're not gonna worry about that for now. So yeah, same thing. Uh, battery goes into the transformer, which goes into there. Uh, as long as I don't have more than 50, more than 100 kilowatts to fry this wire, I shouldn't have to worry about this side frying, uh, unless there's too much draw, but the transformer's gonna stop anything. But that's something we'll have to worry about later. I know it's a bit excessive at the moment, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so now I gotta get the logic set up. Now I do have, I am actually missing a few parts. Uh, where are those chips? Let me see here. Let's turn these off. That doesn't need to be on right now. Uh, what do I do with the rest of the chips here? There they are. And I need those wires too. I'll take that. And we'll go over here. Now, I want to see if I can remember how to do this off by memory. 
Uh, I did take a quick peek at the wiki to see what I needed, but I do have them. I do have a sensor made, so I don't have to worry about making that either. So let's see, we want, oh, I want three memory chips. Oh, and I gotta grab my labeler too. Okay, one, two, and three. And then we want, oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, it was, I think it was two readers or, uh, I don't have to check this up. I think it was a batch reader and a batch writer. I'm going to have to look at this. Hang on. Okay, I was wrong. It's actually a logic reader. That's a Where's it? A logic reader. Now I gotta switch to the processor, so it's gonna be a math unit. Let's see, math unit, and then a min max unit, and that's gonna be the batch writer off of here. And I still have to go and grab my labeler. Uh, did I even take that thing out of the box yet? No, I haven't. I've been a good boy. A very disorganized boy, too. Oh, look at that. It's right in front of me. So I'll take that. Go ahead and turn this thing on. And I'll deal with that later. We'll have power to deal with it, so it's not that big of a deal. So let's check here. Now, fortunately, this game doesn't pause me tab out. I am going here. So the first, first one is going to be 15, then 1.5, then 100. So we'll rename this 15. Confirm. And this one will be... 1.5 and the bottom one will be 100 oops not 10 100 confirm uh that's gonna be a reader that's gonna be a batch writer don't need to worry about anything else after that so i'm gonna turn that off and i do however gotta go grab that daylight sensor so fly all the way back over here and somewhere it is right there. Nope. Power controller. Wrong box. There we go. So now we set this to daylight sensor. No place on the give me a sunrise side. So we will put this right here. And that works out perfect. Okay, now do need to get power to this too, so I gotta run. Who did this? What are we, rookies here or something? You have any idea what kind of fire that would have started? Yeah, I know. I, I know I'm the one to blame. Go ahead, blame me. I don't care. Uh, I still gotta get power over here though. I didn't even think about that. Let's just come right off the solar panels and fry everything. No. Um, I guess I could just branch right off of here. No, because then I would need heavy cables too. Uh, let me... I'm going to have to come off of here somehow, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything all set up. I got the solar panels all set up. I got the logics wired. I don't have them set up yet. Uh, so what we're going to do is this has to be set to 10, or 15. So let's see here, we're going to go up. Oh, that's way too high. Down, and let's see here. Still too high, and then I'll do this one then. Still too high. I guess I'm not to use a labeler then. Uh, yeah, it says hold C for lower increments, but that's not working. Oh, yes, it is. I'm just doing it wrong. Hold C. Don't hold C for this one. It does three or five. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. So then we'll hold. Uh, let's see here. So we'll hold Alt. Go no, maybe not. Okay, and then five. There we go. 
Okay, and then this one is going to be, let's see, the logic reader was going to be, it's going to be the um, daylight sensor. And let's see, logic, what is the, oh yeah, solar angle, that's what it's going to change to. I think so, hang on. I gotta check something here. I just had a thought. I think I don't have any power. Uh, because, for one, I don't have the transformers, t transformers turned on. I don't have the battery turned on. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this then. We were gonna set this to... 4,000 should be good. Turn that on. Uh, you are gonna be set to... Same thing about... 4,000. This is just stop the wires from frying. I'm gonna turn you on and of course the battery's not taking any power because apparently you have to turn a battery on too. Okay, let's see what we have here. Generating a tiny bit, tiny bit. Uh hmm. Something is amiss here. Let me figure this out. Uh, that would explain it. I put the battery the wrong way. Okay, let's try that, shall we? Ah, finally we got power. Nice. So now... Now this should actually work. Okay, you turn on. Okay, reading the daylight sensor. Hang on, I gotta get my screwdriver out. Uh, daylight sensor, and we are reading... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I, I wasn't looking at the... What it actually says green solar angle. I kept seeing logic reader. Why is it always logic reader? Uh, yeah, solar angle. Okay, this one was going to be... Gotta bring this one up again. Uh, result from logic reader. Subtract 15. Yeah. So, that's going to be logic reader. That's going to... Let's see here, subtract, and we're going to change this to 15. Okay, and this one, this one, uh, let's see here. Uh, results from uh, math unit 1. Uh, I got to label these. Oh, I do have my labeler. Oh, what do you know? Okay, uh, oh, we're going to turn that on, of course. When I was growing up, we had labelers that didn't have battery, need batteries. All right, uh, math one, if I can spell it right, not Marth. Math one, math two, and I don't care if it's not cased properly, but that's fine. And what is going on here? Um, I think I accidentally hit the Windows key. That's always a thing. So let's see here. That's gonna be Logic Reader One, okay? And then this is gonna be uh, Math One. I realize it's a math unit, not a min-max unit. And then this was supposed to be Divide, I think. Greater or less. Oh. Hang on, hang on. I'll get the right window here eventually. I'm looking at the wrong picture. Yeah, I needed two math units. And I'm in max unit. Well, there were the third chip go that I made. I thought I made three of them. Okay, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again. So, yeah, I made two ma math units, and then I'm in max unit. And that's why divide wasn't showing up. So, let's go ahead and actually uh, label this. We're going to label this math two. And this time we'll actually have it all properly cased, not that it matters. We'll turn that off because nothing like having a battery die that you don't know about. Alright, so let's get a screwdriver again. So this is going to stay the same. It's going to be 
Uh, logic reader, it's going to be subtract 15. This one is going to be, uh, I believe this one was logic reader as well. Uh, nope, it's going to be result of math one. So math one is going to be divide. Divide by 100. Oh, 1.5. Uh, hang on. Yeah. All right. Um, divide by 1.5. And this one is going to be the result of math 2. If I can find it here. Uh, go back one. Math 2. It's going to be less 100. 100, and we take the result of the min max unit. And I'm assuming this is what's going to be it. And it's going to be output type is going to be going to solar panel. And I believe it was vertical. And yeah, I do need to uh, get some wire in here. And I think this is actually my glass cable. And it is. What do you know? in there sure whatever all right so that should be everything um yeah someone suggested to don't turn the battery later on until you actually have it set to what you need and i think uh, that is everything i'm just going to check on this uh solar panel vertical all right uh let's turn it on shall we so i'm getting an error i don't know why i'm getting an error it's probably because nothing else is turned on let's hope that's it Logic reader, we are gonna change this to hang on. Uh, let's see here. Solar panel. Oh. No, it's gonna be Oh yeah, I have to reset this because I had changed it. Um Let's turn that, that off for a second, just in case. Uh, solar angle, okay. Turn that back on. Let's see what they do. I might have to rotate them too. It's looking like it. Uh, I think it will have to go through one cycle to work itself out. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm probably missing something. I have no idea, but uh, I'm going to let this go and I'll be right back. Okay, the solar panels are lined up. I did have to rotate them 90 degrees, but they are rotated, ready to go. And the sun should be coming up over the horizon any moment. Uh, that battery's almost dead, but that's fine. Because we're going to be, be rocking in power pretty soon. Uh, that one battery should do me for a while until, until I get a whole bunch of machines going and all that stuff. And look at that. We're all lit up now. Speaking of lighting up, I definitely am going to make sure I start getting lights around so we can actually see what we're doing. But there we go, we are generating power. They are going to move on their own. They're not going to move yet until they get about 95% to start going down of inefficiency again because that's as far as solar panels go. But uh, looking at the time, I think we might call this one here. I've been messing around too much just trying to get this set up, but at least we're set up, good to go. And what I'm going to do is, in, uh, between now and the next episode, is I'm going to try to get some more of this ore processed. I might make some more steel, because in the next episode I want to I wanna start getting into uh, tank storage for ice and stuff like that, so we can at least get this properly operating. I looked at the recipe, and it's just basically copper, iron, and gold I need for everything, except for the tanks, which need steel, but that's fine, because, you know, I got this full. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.